Hi everyone and welcome back. Today I'm going to create a winter card with a beautiful window. This is part of a blog hoop for the latest Waffle Flower release. You will have the chance to see the products along the blog hop, but for today I'm going to use this beautiful window die along with another stamp set that has been just released. It's called Cold Hands and it's super adorable, perfect for winter cards. Now I am going to come back in future videos to use even more of the stamp sets from this release. The Arts window die comes with uh, little flowers and uh, leaves that you can use to decorate your window, but I am not going to use that, I will only use the frame. So I have cut it out and I just love that you can open up the windows, also the die gives you a folding line for the windows that you can crease if you wish so with your bone folder, but I decided not to do that as I don't want my windows to open up all the time. And before I go on with my card, I wanted to show you a couple of uh, products that have been released along with this window that would make a perfect card. So this is uh, the shutters and you can cut out two of them and uh, they can actually be the opening for your card. Lots of options here. And there is another uh, uh, die that I want to show you, which is called nested domes. And actually the largest of the domes fits perfectly the border of your window. So you can use that to create your card bases if you wish to have that arch at the top. Now for my window I decided to add some acetate at the back and um, you can see that I am recycling here so I'm using an old uh, packaging. I'm going to cut out uh, a piece of that so that I can stick it at the back of my windows. To stick the acetate at the back of my window frame, I am using white glue and that's Nouveau Deluxe. And uh, notice that I have three different pieces for my acetate uh, windows. And that's because I want to allow for the window doors to open. And I'm not going for a shaker card today, so I want my windows to open. If I wanted to create a shaker card and have snow, for example, at the back of my window, then it would be a great idea to stick one piece of acetate at the back of your frame all over the place. So this is going to uh, stick together the windows and they will not open and have your sequence fall out. I'm using my scissors to cut out the excess acetate and my window frame is ready with the glass and everything and I really love how that looks. And I find this window so versatile, it can be used throughout the year and uh, you can have your window uh, looking inside the house or you can uh, look through the window outside. And today I'm going for the outside scene, so I'm going to create a winter scene outside with snow and everything. I used a pencil to mark where this uh, window is going to fall because I want to create a sky on top of my card base and uh, I don't want to go outside the lines. And I'm using some uh, post-it tape to mask off the area outside of the line so that it's going to keep it nice and clean. And it doesn't have to be perfect since there is a little bit of frame that is going to go over the edge so it doesn't have to be a perfect arch. Just checking that my masking is uh, placed correctly and now we can go ahead and start applying my ink. For that I'm using Distress Oxide inks and I am applying it with my blending tool. If you want to have a more subtle look you can always use your Distress inks or you can even use a stiff brush to apply the ink. And since I used the Distress Oxide ink, it reacts with water, so I'm going to add some splashes, which are going to give some texture at my background and they will look as uh, falling snow. I do plan to add uh, snow later on with my white gel pen, so I wanted this uh, to be quite subtle, as if the snow is far at the background. And that's why I went ahead and blotted off the excess water quite uh, quickly, so it doesn't uh, turn totally white. I removed the post-it tape and I'm going to check that everything looks fine once I place my window frame on top of my card base. And I was really happy with the result, so now I can go ahead and start working on the elements that I'm going to stick at my background. So now I'm working on a piece of white cardstock, I'm going to stick a double-sided tape and then I'm going to apply some fine glitter on top. This is by Nuvo and it's called Snow Glow and it's the perfect uh, glitter to create your snow banks. So everything is going to stick nicely there. This is fine glitter so once you press it on top of your uh, adhesive it's not going to go anywhere. I'm pressing hard with my finger 
and you can see how beautiful and shiny my snow bank looks. Now I'm going to use my scissors and cut out a nice curve and my snow bank is ready. I'm going to place it at the back and this is going to be the ground for all the elements that I'm going to stick later on. I'm going to use some uh, tape adhesive at the back and stick it there and just use my scissors to cut off the excess. And as I'm doing that, just to let you know that there are lots of giveaways along the way of this blog hoop, so make sure to visit my blog and read all the details so that you can enter the giveaways. Now I'm going to stamp with uh, Memento ink some of the images from the Cold Hands stamp set that has been just released. I'm using this adorable little mouse and I'm also going to use uh, one of the trees which I'm going to stamp a couple of times and these are going to be the three elements for my background. I'm going to color them with my alcohol markers and I'm actually going to use my Spectrum Noirs but you can use any coloring method that you love. And then I'm going to use my scissors to cut all the images. Now there are matching dies that I didn't have so if you want you can go ahead and grab those as well. And as I'm going to cut them out, I'm going to make sure that I leave a white border around them, which is going to make my life of fuzzy cutting easier. Especially when it comes to cutting out the mouse uh, tail. And now that I have all my elements cut out, I can go ahead and assemble my card. I use some tape adhesive at the back of all three of those images so that I don't add too much bulk. I'm just making sure that uh, they are going to show nicely through the window. Before I stick the window, I want to stamp my sentiment and I want that to be centered at the top of my arch. So I'm going to place that there. I'm going to close the door of my Misty. I'm going to remove the window. And I'm going to stamp that directly on top of uh, my sky. So I know that it's uh, positioned correctly. And the recipient will be able to clearly read it through the top of my window. And to complete my sentiment, on the inside I'm going to stamp Warm Heart. Now I'm using my white gel pen and I'm going to add some dots all over the background to create my snow. I'm even going to go over the trees. And you can easily create your snow by using a stencil maybe or even uh, doing splashes with gesso or uh, white acrylic paint. Lots of ways to go for that look. At the back of my frame I have added some uh, foam tape so that is going to be a little bit raised and uh, I'm going to stick that on top of my card base. That is going to finish off my card for today. Remember that if you want to add a sequence or a glitter at the back to be your snow, you need to make sure that the windows do not open so you need to seal them somehow at the back. So that was the card for today, I hope you had fun and got inspired, don't forget to leave me a comment and visit my blog to enter the giveaway. Thank you all so much for watching and see you all next time!